there near the rendezvous point. Keep your eyes open for the signal. How do we know this weasel when we see him? He'll be wearing a white carnation. He'll identify himself by password, then lead us to Duval. Duval? I'd sooner save Gary. Headquarters got the orders. If they want Duval in London, they got a reason. Nico. Lieutenant Hanley. You had best hide your raft in the bushes. We must leave immediately. Where is Duval? It is some distance. Germans. It is not a bush we must worry about. We can hear them coming a kilometer away. It is the monkey. The underground? Well, it's supposed to be on our side. Uh, they are, but uh, within their ranks, here and there, uh, one fight fanatics. Cutthroats. A man named Etienne, in particular. He has sworn Duval will never leave France alive. Well, I can't say I blame him much. Duval's collaboration has cost a lot of French lives. Monsieur, I have engaged in this mission not because I agree with Duval, but only to serve France. is concerned, uh, one can never be sure. And Vic Morrow. Guest star, Robert Loggia. really spooked by this Etan character, ain't he? Well, he should be if he's in the same camp with Duval that he's trying to get out of France along with his boss. What does this Etienne look like? I do not know. I have never seen him. Etienne and his men, they move on cat's feet. Well, 
we have to go? It's still some distance. How much distance? Uh, we must hurry, Lieutenant. We are to rendezvous with Duval at uh, 11 o'clock. Where? Uh, look, Rene, we're not planning to ditch you if that's what you're worried about. Your trip would be in vain if you did. Duval will trust no one but me. Huh. Here's a real character reference for you. We only did what we thought was best for France at the time. I became involved because I speak fluent German. I was an interpreter for others. Rene, you're wasting valuable time. Now, we're not going to move from the spot till we know where the valley is. He waits in the mill at Saint Croix. something? It's what I don't hear. After we pass the bridge, then the frogs ought to start up again, but they don't. It is Etienne. I bought you. Now, let's go. But we should search. We Move out. Baissez vos armes. Américain, bonjour. Why do we stand here? So near a road the Bosch use. Are we not allies? Let me see your identification. Of course. Anselis, huh? At your service, Lieutenant. From the village of Moray. Is there anything wrong? No, I just had the impression we were being followed. Followed? <laughs> Our encounter comes as a complete surprise. We didn't know there were Americans in this sector. It is unusually deep for an American patrol, no? Oh, we're just here to pick up some information. This man is our guide. Bonjour, monsieur. Bonjour. Perhaps we can be of help. We know this country well. No, thank you. Well, if we are free to go, we will continue back to Moray. Stick to the woods. As I said, the Bosch used that road. Bon chance. Etienne, I know it. He said they were from Moray. What's so special about Moray? Nothing. It is just that the people of that village are known to be hard to handle. They will wait in those woods and follow us. You should have killed them while you had the chance. Those people are your countrymen. Your mission is to get Duval out. They will wait for us and follow us and prevent it. Get going.
I'll name the driver. Rennie. Good. If you're right, a truck would leave his monkey far behind us. Give me a hand with this log. traveling at a steady speed. If you stop, use your fluent German and make it good. to go back. No, no. They've seen you. You gotta bluff it out. Get moving. Since if I won it. I declare the fight itself. The fire had blood on his uniform. Is it precious blood? Ganz frisch, yeah.
Madame, bonjour. You uh, just happen to be in the neighborhood. I told you to stick to the woods. When we looked down from the hills and saw you come and hear that truck, we knew you would be in trouble at the roadblock. So we ran to get here. <laughs> Lieutenant! How is he? Not good, sir. Louis, Kevin. Louis is an excellent surgeon. Well, he is seeing to the patient. Perhaps we can relieve you of these. You will be much more comfortable. Hey, Dan. That's your service, Lieutenant. Why don't you save us further unpleasantness? Where is Duva? You want him? You find him. <laughs> Come over, passion. Il a une hémorragie intérieure. Says he's breathing internally, Lieutenant. Dis-lui que tu lui sauves la vie. S'il te dit où l'emporte, je vais tout d'aller. Parle. Et je te sauve la vie. He says he's going to save his life if... I know. Offering to save his life if he tells him where Duval is. Exactly. <laughs> René. Don't tell them. They're not interested in you. All they want is Duval. That is correct. All we want is Duval. And therefore, my surgeon is willing to save this pig's life in exchange for information. Carl, you should save la vie. He will talk. And before the sun sets, Duval will be tried at the scene of his crimes. Hello. Duval has information that could possibly shorten the war, save thousands of lives on our side. In exchange for what? His own life, his freedom. I don't know. I'm just a soldier, I take orders. Now, you and I, we've got a job to do in this war. My job is to get Duval back to our lines and then to London. And my job is to take Duval to the village of Moray. To a tree he knows very well. A tree in this square that is waiting for him. He will save your life. But first, you must tell us where Duval is hiding. Rene, don't say a word. You are assuming a tremendous responsibility, Lieutenant. You would condemn a man to death only to complete your mission. To bear fruit. Il ne peut pas être sauvé. Allons-y. Wait a minute. Now, what about him? You said if he told you where the vow was, your doctor would try to save his life. He says that's impossible. If you don't believe that, you try to help him. I leave your weapons at the bend in the road. With so many Bosch around, I do not wish to see you go unarmed. So you see, monsieur, there is a little good in all of us. Get 
the feeling you've been had? Lieutenant, he's dead. Dage, pick up the weapons. What do we do now, Lieutenant? We do what we came to do. Get to Val. We haven't got a chance. We've got a truck. We'll never be able to beat him to St. Croix. We're not going to St. Croix. We're going to Moray. It's just two miles cross country. So? So they have to drive all the way to St. Croix, find Duval, and bring him to Moray. Well, how do we know they're going to Moray? Because Etienne said he had a job to do. He said he had to bring Duval to Moray because there's a tree at the town square that's waiting for him. We have to get there first. Huh? town at all. Uh, so people don't like to live in ruins. Every place we've been before at least showed some sign of life. Uh, it's a ghost town. Oh, you have the feeling something awful happened here. Let's take cover over there. Deixa eu checar que achou os bolos do Banco de Justiça. Da caminhão. Da cá. Melhor dar na prisão, justo que as coisas vão
you're bringing out the French flag. Yeah, that's the judge's bench. They're going to try him. Let's go around to the back. Gardien. Gardien. Qu'est-ce que tu veux, Saligo? Va dire à Étienne que j'ai quelque chose à lui dire d'important. Étienne, le cochon veut te parler. Il dit qu'il a quelque chose d'important à te dire. You are a dedicated lieutenant. Don't talk. Don't even think except what this can do. Kirby, get the valve out of there. Vos armes dans le pur, votre chef est mort sur place. Non. They've got five seconds. Vous avez cinq secondes. Fool's errand, Lieutenant. My men have weapons hidden all over the area. And you're a long way from home. If I so much as spot one of them between here and the river, I'll blow your brains out.
I made no bargain for this, Lieutenant. Why don't you leave him to us, Lieutenant? No! I'll get you the information you want. Forward it to London. You never give up, please. Would you? If you saw your neighbors shot down in their doorways, children deported to labor camps. Do you wonder, Lieutenant, why today there is not a living soul in the village of Moray? Ask him. He knows why. I did only that wish I was forced to do. <laughs> forced. It is ever thus, no? Yet. He was able to do that which he was forced to do without a tear, without a shred of mercy. There were 19. Mark that number well. 19 in the village of Moray. All that were left after the deportations. All of them, women and old men. The Gestapo told Juval. They wanted to know where we are, the Marquis were hiding. So Juval lined up all 19 in the village square. He demanded that they betray their husbands and sons of the Marquis. Not one of them spoke. And so each, in turn, <laughs> was hanged. Well, it's real, Moray. Eh? When the spring came, the tree of Moray eh, did not bloom. It will never bloom again. would never leave this country. You must believe that. Hey, who's that? Prouts.
now, Lieutenant. The Germans will not see us. This is our chance. Hit Duval on his way. Well, you do what? I can't leave him out there. Look, you came to save me. Me, Lieutenant. See, Lieutenant. Chance, Lieutenant. Hello. Well, the Tony Amori. Good judgment. I'm sorry, Lieutenant. We are taking you out. All right, Etienne. If you want him, you can have him. But he's gonna come high. You're not being very realistic, Lieutenant. Little John, take Duval and head for home. Keep walking as long as you can move. Brave man, Lieutenant. A good man. Too brave and too good to die for one like him. Also, I cannot afford to pay the high price you might exact. I have a need to live. So that I can have my moment with him. I'll survive this war. I'll find him. Wherever they give him sanctuary. The tree of Moray will be there. Waiting. It was up.
I'm sorry about what happened at the Tree of Marais. Goodbye. Thank you.